Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Yes, yes, this is going to be a general energy reading. So first, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But also, this is just whatever spirit wants to talk about today, whatever general advice spirit wants to give or whatever the energies just want to come for, whatever energies want to come forward and, you know, what comes through that. Yeah. So the time is fluid. So it doesn't have to be something that happens today. It could be something that happens in the future coming on down the pipeline. It could be something that you've already been through. It could be something that doesn't resonate with you at all. But in any case, like I said, it's a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah. I am currently running a sale in February. Mirror readings are 20% off. Those are the same readings that I do for the twin flame readings every week. If you'd like one, go ahead and check that out or just give me an email and I'll get you all set up. Yeah. My email address is in the description box below. Okay. So let's get to it guys. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. I hope everyone's having a good February so far and also a good week. I mean, it's only Tuesday. For some of you, you're moving into Wednesday, but that's okay. You guys are slightly ahead. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Apparently, one of my cards got wet, and it's the Moon Child card. And I don't know how that happened, but it's all warped and weird and wonky now. But that's okay. One more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for today. All right, guys. Here we go. Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Strength. Okay. Oh, boy. And, oh, caught that one. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Times are a changing, y'all. Okay. Something, there. the wheel is really turning here. And it does feel almost like you're playing Russian roulette. At least that's the energy that I get from this Wheel of Fortune. I, I personally feel like some of you, just the energy that I feel from this, you may not exactly know where you're going, where you want to go. Okay, we have strength with the Ace of Pentacles, justice. We have the Six of Cups, the Hanged Man, the High Priestess. And then we also have <laughs> the Moon, the Empress, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so we've got a lot today. Now, we just had the New Moon last night, uh, February 4th. Okay, so now is a time for manifestation, all right? As we're moving out of these energies, you know, as we move past the new moon towards a full moon, you know, the, the energies of the new moon subside and the energies of the full moon gener uh, um, rise, I guess you could say. Um, and so you're still, we still have a little bit of this new moon energy to, to work with and it really looks like many of us are changing the course of our lives, are creating something new, especially with this Ace of Pentacles here. Now, strength and justice with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is talking about, uh, this is definitely finances for some of you. I just heard that. But this is using your strength. I am hearing pride and ego, but here it's not a bad thing. You're using your sense of who you are, your restraint, your willingness to grow, to change, and to learn, to the, your resilience, your resiliency to really create something new. Now, in the center of this reading here, you have the hanged man. 
So there is a bit of limbo. And then we have the Two of Pentacles here. And the Two of Pentacles has been talking about this whole in-between world situation, right? But it's I do see it as a progression here. Because the Ace of Pentacles is up here. You go through the storyline and you come to the Two of Pentacles. You come from the Moon energy and the Empress here, okay? Which is abundance and fertility, right? So you have this new Moon energy, which we just came out of, which was last night. Um, it was Monday, February 4th here in the United States. I don't know exactly when it happened for other those in other parts of the world but the new moon gave you is an opportunity to manifest to ask for what it is you want right and so with the the energies of the empress here which is the fertility which is the the fertile ground right the the womb the birthing pot the abundance you have something that's coming out of it with the two of pentacles so this is why you're still kind of in this in between stage here now in the center of the reading we have the six of cups the hanged man and the high priestess there is a lot of learning that's happening here a lot of clearing up of the past probably a lot of reminiscing on the past there may have been a resurgence of some memories from the past that are kind of that are kind of tripping you up that you're needing to heal from learn from This could be a type of purging here. Mm -hmm. But strength is a good thing because it's like, it, it's almost giving me a nine of wands energy. Okay. Um, perseverance. But this is, but this is restraint. This is, um, you know, taming the beast within. This is uh, harnessing your your strength and harvesting your, your power, okay, in order to gener to create something brand new with the Ace of Pentacles. Justice is seeking balance, also. Okay. Leo energy, uh, 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 Libra energy, Pisces, Cancer or Pisces with the moon here. Very interesting. There might be a feeling of stuckness here. There really might be. There, there, there is. I'm not going to lie. The hanged man is at the center of the reading, okay? Um, but there's serious enlightenment and serious learning that's happening here. For as many of you, you're getting down to the bottom of some things that have been plaguing you for some time, um, some thought process, or maybe even some habits. Things you may have acquired, uh, 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 habits or, um, yeah, habits that you may have acquired in childhood even is what I'm getting here with the Six of Cups. Something from the past. If it's not childhood, just earlier in life. But through this, you are getting an opportunity to create, obviously. Which is nice. There could be some sort of money coming in also with this Ace of Pentacles and, the, and Justice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Let's get to clarifying here. I'm using the Book of Shadows Tarot um, in honor of the new moon and just to switch it up a little bit. So this would be, there are two decks in that. It's in that one. It's uh, as above and so below. I'm using the so below deck, which is um, more along the lines of traditional tarot. And this is, ooh, we have a flyer. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Okay, so we have a flyer that came out. This is a special, I guess it's a general, a special message for someone. Two of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. 
okay? Um, it's very interesting. Uh, there has been, I feel like there's been a decision made. Because you have another instance of going from, well, okay, not necessarily a decision made, but you have an instance of going from the ace to the two, okay? You have the ace of wands here to the two of wands, and you have the ace of pentacles here to the two of pentacles here. So what I'm feeling like is there is, you're, you're at a point now, you're at a crossroads, basically, with the ace of wands and the two of wands and the eight of pentacles. You're at a crossroads as to where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to be working towards. Okay, and that has everything to do with the Wheel of Fortune here. Because the Wheel of Fortune could be turning in your favor. You just need to, you need to choose. Somebody needs to choose about what it is, what direction they want to take in life. There's a new creative direction on the horizon here. And it has, it has to do with work. Okay. your creative expression, how you want to approach your work, your business, your practice. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, I was getting that, I am getting that you were been working diligently and you have every intention of continuing to work diligently. You just have to make a, cre a choice of creative, a creative decision here. Okay, which creative direction do you want to move in, in your line of work, okay? That's for, that's for someone specific. Now we're gonna get into the clarification. We're gonna start with the first row here. Strength, Ace of Pentacles, and Justice. Please, Spirit, please clarify. Nothing? There we go. The Ace of Swords. My. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's been some sort of epiphany Somebody really does want to change direction somehow. There's this clear, there's a clear sight, okay? Seeing things clearly as, as clearly as possible. Seeing things for what they truly are. I'm hearing as bright as day even. Uh, and so there's some justice that's being served here. You might be feeling this justice that is being served. I just got that. This might be a little bit of a stingy. This might be stingy a little bit for whatever reason, for some of you specifically out there, and it might sting in the form of, oh, okay, maybe I should have known that before or something like that. Or maybe it was just something you didn't realize. But there is insight here as to a new direction that you can go in. Um, and it's not about moving too quickly, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, you don't need to rush. It, this might be, now, this Ace of Swords situation, this might be something that you just didn't want to look at before. You may not have been able to see it, perceive it, but now you're seeing differently. Someone is. Okay. So the Six of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the High Priestess then. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. Underneath the deck, you have the world. Yeah. Major karmic completion here. And that would be why you're feeling in limbo with the hanged man. Again, you have the two of pentacles down here. So there is definitely an energy of um, being in between worlds, in between states. There are some things that you're needing to wrap up or to learn or to see. You're needing to see something differently before you can really move forward. But you have the chariot, the four of cups, the six of wands, and the seven of wands with the six of swords. Yeah. Moving forward, okay? Um, Mm -hmm. Many of you are moving on in spite of some sort of unrequited love situation, okay, with the chariot and the four of cups. It's like you're not going to let this get you down any longer. Um, 
you have overcome <laughs> overcome a major major mountain okay a major challenge a major obstacle whatever you want to call it seven of wands six of wands there's greater boundaries in place here and then you have the six of swords which is moving from uh, rough waters to calmer waters the six of swords came out a lot last night while I was doing readings for the full moon for the not for the, excuse me not the full moon for the, the new moon uh, both on the Instagram Instagram live reading and in happy hour for the general energy reading and even for like some of the readings, you know, for those, the personal readings during happy hour, the six of swords just kept coming out. You're wrapping up. You're in the final stages of wrapping up a major, major cycle. And you're moving forward. And this is why you are needing to choose. Someone is needing to choose some sort of different creative direction in association with whatever work it is you're doing. And, okay, so because what came, what came out as flyers, um, if you guys don't remember, it was the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Someone had may, already made a decision, and for many of us, we have already made a decision to move in a, new, uh, in a new general area, right? Go in a different direction. But now that choice and that path that you've embarked on is now evolving to become something greater. So now if you go from the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads. There's something new that there's a new creative direction that you want to go in. You're, needing, you're seeing something differently. So that's creating a brand new pathway for you, especially with this Ace of Swords here and also with the Hanged Man. So it really looks like you actually have achieved some sort of new, someone has, some sort of new perspective. Although I feel like there's still some more that you're, there are still more downloads that are coming through in association with that, with the high priestess here. But you're definitely, you, the, 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 the new perspective is developing right now as we speak. Okay. For some of you, you know what this is already. You already see it. It's already, it's already form, form, formalized, formed in your mind. This vision, this view, this perspective, this understanding. And there's a lot of healing happening with these two sixes here. Okay. These made these big feelings of unrequited love are left in the past. Because many of you have learned to love yourselves. And so it's not, you're not looking for that validation or that love from someone else externally, external to you any longer. And that is absolutely creating some major change here with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune energy still just feels like you're playing roulette somewhat. It, 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 and it's not like, uh, and it's just random. It's like we don't, we don't really know where it's going to land. So that's a big reason as to why you would need to keep your vibration as high as possible. Keep your mind focused on what it is you truly want. But that, for some people, is what this Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands is representing with the Eight of Pentacles. Choosing what it is you want. Okay. Now, the Moon, the Empress, and the Two of Pentacles here. Let's see what we've got for that. Hmm. Underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. You have the King of Pentacles here with the High Priestess again. So for some of you, there is a really stable individual around you that may be keeping an eye on you, a watchful eye, may be interested in you and is not really making it known. For others of you, this is something, this is someone that you're trying to manifest, okay? Uh, and you're needing to, and the universe is saying just, it's not, it's not um, going to be revealed yet. You have to continue as if it's already there instead of continuing to look for the signs that they're coming. Don't worry about that. It's 
behind the veil. For some of you, the universe isn't showing it to you purposefully. You're needing to use your intuition, okay? For some, you have, oh, there's the Wheel of Fortune again. Death, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, you see? And the Four of Swords. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune and Death. There is a transformation in the works, okay? And that's going to take some time. Death is Scorpio energy. I really don't, I really try not to get into the signs though. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Three of Pentacles talks about uh, self-mastery, teamwork. But here this talks is definitely talking about self-mastery as normal. You know, this usually talks about self-mastery in, in, in my readings here. Um, with the Four of Swords, though, it's you're needing to just re rest and relax, okay? Because there is someone for, for I don't know for who or what, but this King of Pentacles came out, is coming out a lot lately. And it's like you're actively drawing this person in. You are, you are attracting some, there are some of you that are attracting this King of Pentacles energy. This um, could be a Taurus or it could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It's just someone that's really grounded, well-rooted, well-manifested, stable, honest, secure, is, in, is not opposed to commitment but doesn't really feel like someone that's going to be committed in a relationship for shits and giggles, you know what I mean? Use your intuition here because you know, you know that a transformation is happening and you know that the tides are shifting with death and the wheel of fortune. So you're needing to just relax and allow it to come through, allow yourself, allow the teamwork to happen. And that teamwork represented by the three of pentacles here and also this self-mastery that it's represented by, or that, excuse me, that it's representing is the teamwork between you and the universe, you and your higher self, working with your, 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 um, your vibration, okay? And with the Four of Swords, what this is saying is you're needing to just like rest, relax, and have fun. Just play. Focus on having fun. Focus on enjoying yourself now, okay? Because there is a harvest coming in with the Seven of Pentacles being underneath the deck to represent this. There is a return, you know, you are about to harvest some good stuff, potentially. It's just not quite ripe yet. You're almost there, though. Okay. I'm going to get some Oracle Guidance now. Yeah, we're going to get some Oracle Guidance. We're going to start from with the uh, unicorns. For today. Tuesday, February 5th. You see, wow, that's it? Yes, that's it, okay. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Underneath the deck you have expansion. Spread your wings and, and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of, all right? And then the card that flew out the card that just flew right out of here is Beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to, you, to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. This King of Pentacles came out yesterday. Did he come out yesterday? Yes, he came out in the clarifiers yesterday. And the theme of yesterday's reading was somebody needed to make a decision about something. And it could have been this King of Pentacles. But you see here, 
So now he's back and he's come out with the high priestess and the high priestess has come out twice in this reading. So what I, what this is saying to me is that for some of you, there's someone around you that's just trying to make it, just trying to decide on what they want to do. What's the best thing for them to do? And to be quite honest, that doesn't really need to involve you. It doesn't, it shouldn't involve you. That's not a decision you can make for them. So there's no reason to really to even be worried about that. Okay, you don't have to worry about that at all. It has nothing to do with you. And it's and whatever they decide, it's not personal. It's nothing to do with you, okay? So just go with the flow. Because the wheel is turning, the wheel, the times are changing, tides are changing, the tides are changing. Okay, I'm gonna close the reading with the whispers of love then. Best message, please. All right, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for today's readings. Oh my goodness, is that the card that I think it, oh Lord. Best message, please, okay, that's all. Underneath the deck, <laughs> you have card number two. Like, like attracts like. If you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Just keep that in mind. So you need to be loving yourself. If you want somebody to love you, you've got to love yourself. You have card number 49. Actions speak loudly. Express yourself through actions. And I, I would say that's showing yourself. The actions that, that, that are coming through, that spirit are suggesting, is showing yourself the love that you would like to receive um, and allowing people to see that you love yourself that much. And now I'm not talking about being, um, you know, egotistical, uh, self-centered, narcissistic, whatever. But I'm saying just like show people how you would want to be treated by loving and respecting yourself. Right. And then finally, you have, OK, I thought this was a different card, but OK, cool. <laughs> you have romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. OK, so if you have somebody, go ahead and show them. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I hope you all have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!